So welcome, welcome. Get started here. So go ahead and get yourself into a comfortable seat. We're going to start either with your legs crossed or you can have, um, you can sit on a block and that'll lift you up a little bit. Let me show you just a couple of things you can take. Depending on your flexibility, you can stack the blocks up high or maybe just one block and then scoot it back and you sit right on it. And then you can have your legs alongside of you. That's one way to get the hips up off the ground. Um, and if you add another layer, you're up even higher. You have a little seat here. So when you know we're doing seated poses, if like that's hard on your knees or your hips, this is always um, an option that's available to you that makes things a little bit more comfortable. I have a little cushion that I'm sitting on here and I have my legs to the side. So um, just get, you know, into your spot, get comfortable, lift up your spine, relax your shoulders and just close your eyes for a minute. Bring one hand up to your heart and just let yourself land after a day, a busy day perhaps, or maybe not so busy depending on where you were and what you were up to, but we're getting towards the tail end of things. So feel yourself dropping down, feel the tailbone connect to the floor, to the block, wherever you're sitting. And then lifting up your spine to create a little bit of space in between each of the vertebrae. With your hand on your heart, you can feel your breath as it comes in and flows back out. So let's bring, closing your eyes, bring your attention to that hand on your chest and just feel it as your chest rises and then slowly lowers back down. We're gonna take three full deep breaths. So on the inhale, breathe in through your nose, big deep inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. And as you do this, pull your belly in towards your spine, empty that belly out. Another full breath in. Exhale, pull your belly in. Release back out one more time, full breath in. Hand rises as the chest fills and exhale, release back out. You can let your hand drop down onto your lap or your leg, just letting your eyes softly open if you had them closed. Um, the word that I have for today, our class is from my nature mandala meditation cards and the word for today is dun, 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 surrender so we're gonna try and surrender into the class today really just letting go and feeling your body feeling your emotions your heart and trying to just always be the observer of what's going on for you and bringing yourself back, being that person watching yourself, noticing how you're feeling, what's going on. It's all good. It's all fine. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to think about what does that mean to you? What does surrendering mean to you as we move through practice? All right. So let's hop on over to the mat. I'm going to turn on my timer so I don't go over. And um, you're going to get into tabletop position on all fours. And I'm going to just turn that up a little bit. Move these things out of the way just to get going. And 
and make sure that your hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips, and spread out those fingers nice and wide. And just drop your head down towards the floor. Let your hips move back and forth, just swinging side to side. And then slowly lift the head back up, coming back into neutral position, pressing those hands into the mat, spread out your fingers long. And we're going to round the back up towards the ceiling tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, and then release your belly. Lift the tailbone, raise the eyes, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, release. Exhale, round. Inhale, release. Round it up and come back down. Round it up and come back down. One more time, lift it up and release back down. And then back to neutral position, weight stays on the left hand. Let's raise that right hand way up towards the ceiling, taking a little twist here, moving around towards the right. And then you're gonna drop your hand down. You're gonna reach it through the hole that the left arm creates, just reach it over. And then on the inhale, bring it all the way back up again. So drop it down, reach it over to the left and then inhale, bring it back up. Drop it down, reach it over, and bring it back up. Take it down, and then back up. Take it down, and then back up. Good, bring your hand back to center, back to tabletop position. We're gonna switch over to the other side. So now the left hand reaches up, just hold it there for a minute. See if you can twist a little bit further towards the left, reaching, turning, twisting, and then drop the arm down, reach it over and touch. Inhale, lift all the way up and over and touch. You can bend your knees as you do this and drop your hips down as you're reaching down and over. Getting some nice twisting in here, breathing. Steady, even breath throughout the practice. If you find your breath getting uneven or holding your breath, you want to just come back to a nice gentle inhale, gentle exhale last time up, and then drop back down. Bring your hips back towards your heels, stretch your arms up, drop your head onto the mat, and on the inhale, let's bring it up into table. On the exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift the heart, raise the eyes, look up, and exhale, take it all the way back. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale back. Bring it up and down and up and back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, just getting some nice movement in the spine here. Breathing. One more time. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale back. And then come back up into tabletop position. Walk your hands in towards your knees and we're gonna curl those toes under behind you. And you're gonna sit back towards your heels. Walk your hands around. See if you can clasp your hands behind you. We're just giving our toes a little stretch here. And now slowly, as you hold on to your hands and you pull those hands down towards the ground, draw your chin up towards the ceiling. Open your heart. Lift, look up. Let's hold it here for three. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale, slowly look forward, release those hands, bring them back around to front. And now we're gonna press into the floor as you straighten up those legs, walk the hands in towards your feet, and then let your head hang down. And just shake your head no a couple times. And then shake your head yes. 
Good, and then slowly walk your hands up halfway, just below your knees, press into your legs, flatten your back, extend out through your spine, through your head, eyes are looking down here, breathing steady. Now pull your belly in, bringing your belly button up towards your spine, nice strong core, and then exhale, drop back down. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, drop back down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And then slowly bring it up. We're gonna bring the arms up and out to the side here and then drop them down, palms together. Inhale, bring it up. Back is nice and long here, legs are long. Exhale down. Inhale, bring it up and exhale, take it down. Now slowly roll up to standing. Finding your way into Tadasana. Let's walk up to the front of the mat. Just walk out your feet a couple times and come to standing. I'm just gonna adjust this just a tweak. All right, so feet are hip distance apart, hands together at your heart. And just close your eyes for a moment. Feel your thumbs touching your chest on Jali Mudra. Legs are long, spine is lifted. And take this moment to think about what your intention is for the rest of the day. Maybe a word or a phrase or just a feeling that you want to have as you complete your day. And then slowly let your eyes open. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold it down. Slide the hands up halfway, lift, look up. Exhale, release. Now spread those arms, flat back all the way up and over, palms together, and exhale back to your heart. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale back, inhale lift, exhale fold, hands to shins lift, exhale release, flat back, bring it all the way up and over again, and palms back to your chest. One more time, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, fold it down, lift up halfway, exhale, release, bring your hands to the outside of your feet, let's bring the left foot back into lunge, and then right foot back into plank position. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your torso is long, if this is hard, the knees come down, otherwise stay on the toes. You're pulling your belly button in towards your spine, nice strong core here, let's breathe for three. Inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. Inhale three, exhale. Drop your knees, tuck your elbows, lower all the way down to the mat. Now bring your hands outside of your mat, lift up your palms so only your fingertips touch, raise your elbows, and then we're gonna take a nice wide cobra, lift it up, and exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, drop back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Good, slide your hands back underneath your shoulders, curl your toes under, and find your way into downward facing dog. Breathe here for three. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three, exhale, look towards your hands. Let's bring the right foot forward, plant the back foot, and come up with straight legs. Front toes are forward, hips are forward. We're gonna drop down into the lunge, and then let's raise those arms up overhead. Clasp the hands, reaching tall, heart is open, eyes can be looking forward or looking up towards your hands. Breathe for three. 
inhale one, exhale, inhale two, exhale, inhale three, exhale. Arms come down, shoulder height. And now let's bring right hand forward, left hand back, coming into warrior two, reaching long through the arms, maybe even sinking a little deeper into your lunge. Eyes on the front fingertips, breathe. Good, now bend your right elbow, bring it down onto that right knee, and then the left arm's gonna slide up overhead. Coming into side angle pose, breathe here for three. Inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. Inhale three, exhale. Drop your left hand down, drop your right hand down, and now bring that right foot back, coming back into plank position. Drop your knees, exhale down. Inhale, cobra, exhale, release. Push and lift, come back up to downward dog. Three breaths here. Good, now look towards your hands. Bring your left foot forward, plant the back foot, and we're coming up on the other side. So left toes are forward, hips are forward. Drop down into your lunge, and when you're settled, those arms rise up overhead. Bring the palms together and breathe. Inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. Inhale three, exhale, release. Bring those arms down, shoulder height. Left arm forward, right arm back. Reach long through the arms, looking off the tips of your front fingers. Breathe. Nice job. Bend that left elbow, bring it down to the left knee. And then once you're settled here, let that right arm slide right up along. So you have a nice long um, side here on your right side, starting from your fingertips, through your torso and out that right leg. You can slowly turn your eyes and try to look up towards your fingertips, breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Drop that right hand down, drop left hand, and let's bring that left foot back into plank. Drop the knees, exhale down. Inhale, cobra, exhale, release. Push and lift, come up to downward dog. And now look towards your hands, and we're gonna take little steps, bringing it forward, all the way up to the front of your mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands come back to your heart. Just take a minute, shake out your hands, shake out your legs, and make yourself back up to the front of your mat. Feet about hip distance apart, and just roll from your heels to toes a couple times. And then coming to stillness, bring those hands back to your heart. Exhale, hands down, inhale up. Exhale back, inhale lift. Exhale, fold, hands to shins up. Exhale, release. Right foot back and left foot back. Drop knees, exhale. Inhale, cobra, exhale, release. Push and lift, bring it up to downward dog. Three breaths here. Good, now look towards your hands. We're gonna bring the right foot forward and then you're gonna come up onto the toes and the balls of that back foot. Adjust your weight over on top of the right leg. And then as you're ready, we're gonna see if we can bring those arms up and out to the side like we did earlier. Breathing. This 
pose always reminds me of geese flying. Maybe they're headed our way, huh? Let's breathe for three. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale, drop those hands down. Bring the right foot back, coming into plank. Drop the knees. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift, cobra. Exhale, release back down. Curl the toes, press and lift. Bring it all the way up to downward dog. Let's take three breaths here. Good. Now look towards your hands. Bring the left foot forward and come up onto the toes and the balls of that back foot. Shift your weight over to the top of the left leg and then either keeping the hands down or lift them up and out. Breathing. Inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale, release, hands come down, left foot comes back, drop knees, exhale, inhale, cobra, exhale, release, push on lift, bring it back up, downward dog, hold it here, three breaths. Good. Now walk your hands towards your feet and then slowly roll it up to standing. Lower back, middle back, shoulders, and head coming up last. Just shake everything out a little bit. Wiggle the hands, wiggle the feet, and then we're going to do another little balance pose here. So. I want you to just step your left foot back. You're just barely touching it back there, and you're really grounded down through your right foot, okay? And then we're gonna move our body as sort of one unit here. So lean your upper body forward as that leg comes back up, and then drop it back down. Lean it up and drop back down. Bring it forward and drop back down. All right, now arms come up overhead. And now you're gonna lean it up and now bring that knee in towards your elbows and take it back out. Whoop, try not to fall over. Bring it in and take it back out. Bring it in and take it back out. One more time. Bring it in and take it back out. Drop the hands down, release the foot. Just shake it out. We got one more side to go. All right, so plant your left foot and just take a little step back, tippy toe of the right foot, just barely touching. And then we're just gonna move as a unit. You can bring your hands to your hips here. And just bring the leg back as the upper body comes forward. Get your balance here. Figure out what's working. Good, and now reach those hands up overhead, bring the body forward, elbow to knee. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. One more time. And then release the hands down and come back to standing. Shake everything out, shake the hands, shake the legs. And now let's do some big steps, swinging the arms. Try to get those knees way up. All right, and begin to slow it back down again. And come to stillness. All right, let's get one block and we're going to place it at the top of the mat. And I want you to come back a little ways away from here and then take a short step forward with 
your left foot, right foot stays back. And then arms reach out. And now we're gonna move over. We're gonna drop down, slide that block right in near you. And instead of going all the way down, maybe you can easily get all the way down. I want you to try creating a little bit of space here. So use the block on the high position. Legs are long, right arm reaches up. And so really take this opportunity to straighten the legs, extend the spine, reaching out through the top of your head. And now pull that right hand way back behind you. Open the chest, eyes look up, breathing. Inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. Inhale three, exhale, release. Drop your hand down and slowly come back up to standing. Turn your feet forward, walk the block over to the right side, and then we're gonna turn both feet facing towards the right direction. Arms come out to the side, and then we're gonna reach over and drop that hand down onto the high position, top of the block, left hand comes up. And really take this opportunity, bring your left hand down and actually twist your body, just thinking about lengthening through the torso here, using that extra space you have that the block is giving you to really open up your spine, twist, and look up towards your left hand, Trikonasana, breathing. Good, exhale, release that hand down, bend your knee and slowly bring it back up to standing. Walk those feet in together. And now we're going to take our blanket. And if you remember from last week, I'll go through real quick. I have one of these Mexican blankets. I start with it folded in half, and then I'm going to fold it again into quarters so it's long and then place it down onto your mat and you're gonna roll it up into a nice jelly roll. So just squeeze it nice and tight and bring it all the way into the end. And last week we had the blanket this way. This week we're gonna have it across your mat, okay? And then I want you to come and sit right by the back of the, the blanket. Make sure that the folded part is towards the ground so it's nice and smooth on top. And you can bring your blocks back here for a little support in case you need it. You can come back and tuck the blocks in for a little bit of support here. Let's start with our knees bent, okay? And I want you to have your butt on the ground, not on the blanket. And the blanket is right in your lower back area. Your knees are bent. You're using the blocks for support if you like. And then let's just start by tipping our head back. Just let your head roll back here, opening the chest, just giving our heart and our lower back a little stretch. Breathing, deep breath, exhale out. And now raise your head back up again, slide the blocks out of the way. And now you're gonna try and drop over the blanket. So you're gonna try and get your shoulders down on the floor. Now, as soon as I did that, as soon as I dropped my shoulders on the floor, my butt picked right up. So I want you to wiggle around side to side. Keep your knees bent here. This is a deep stretch for your lower back. So take it easy. If you know this isn't working for you, come back up onto the blocks. But if you want to give this a try, you're going to try and get your butt down on the floor and your shoulders. Okay, so it's going to take some wiggling around to get there. And then once you're there, if you like, you can try opening up your feet about as wide as your mat and then bring your knees together. And that sort of just lets your legs relax. And 
as I'm laying here, my middle back is just almost quivering because it's feeling the tightness here. So I'm just going to keep wiggling my hips side to side, softening it up, letting the blanket just sort of massage my lower back. You can sway a little bit side to side here. Breathing. Deep breaths. And now see if you can find some sense of stillness here. Let the knees drop together. Some of you might be able to stretch your legs out straight. And we're just taking a moment here to let that middle back really get a nice stretch. Dropping, trying to relax your shoulders. If you're squeezing your butt, try to relax your butt and just let your body melt. It's as if you're a popsicle melting on a hot sidewalk. Let your body just melt over the blanket. And again, if this is too much for you, you can be up on your elbows, letting your head roll back. If you're with me, we're just gonna hold this for a couple more breaths. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Good. Now scooch your elbows under you and slowly bring it up. Come back up off the blanket and straighten out your legs. Bring the arms up overhead and exhale slowly. See if you can reach towards your toes. Now you may find your back is super stiff from doing this because we're going in the absolute opposite direction. So just take your time and slowly, slowly fold your way forward. Let your nose drop towards your knees. Breathing. Good. and then slowly bring it back up. And now you're gonna slide the blanket a little further away, still having the bottom, you know, the uh, open end towards the ground so the top is nice and smooth. And you're gonna slide the blocks up so you can get a hold of them. And you want your shoulder blades on top of the blanket this time. So if you reach out your arms, you can see my arm is right on top of the blanket here. That's where you want that. And now you're going to bend your knees, bring your feet in, and you can put your blocks on a high position and drop your knees out or maybe a little bit lower position. But I want you to get it to a point where it's really comfy for you, not like anything on your lower body is working too hard. And then once you're ready, you just let your head roll back on the back side of the blanket. You're going to open up your arms nice and wide here. And we're just going to release into this supported Baddha Konasana position. Your back is just resting on the floor. Your shoulders are supported by the blanket. And your knees are supported by the blocks. Your head is gently reaching back, your heart is open, and you're breathing. Let's do five rounds of breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more time. Good, now slowly open your eyes if they're closed. Begin to lift your head up, slowly bringing it up, bring your knees together. We're gonna take the 
blocks and set them off to the side. And then we're going to roll over onto our left side. Use your arm as a little pillow underneath your head here and just let your head rest on your arm. Take a couple of breaths. Good, and then slowly begin to bring yourself back up, coming up towards seated position again. Coming into just a gentle cross-legged position. If you want to, you can open up your blanket and make a little cushion to sit on like this. And then lift your hips up off the ground a little bit. If you want to get super comfy, you can place your blocks right under your knees for support. And let's sit nice and tall. Have your hands just resting on your legs, spine is tall, shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. And let's close our eyes here. Take one last full deep breath in. Exhale, release. And now I want you to let your breath just return back to its soft inhale Soft exhale. We're just going to sit for a moment or two. And I'd like you to remember the word that we started with, surrender. And just really let yourself savor these last delicious moments. Feeling yourself grounding down and lifting up. With your mind's eye, let that observer just watch your breath as it flows in and then back out. On your next breath in, breathe in a little deeper. Exhale, release. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Come back into your body again. With your eyes still closed, let's bring our hands to heart. Just taking a moment to acknowledge your practice, remembering the intention that you set for yourself. My wish for you is health in your body, peace in your mind, and love in your heart. Namaste.